do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Whoa. There we go. Fix this up a little bit. Hello and welcome, everybody, to tonight's fantastic, fiery dino action featuring Chandra, Awakened Inferno. She's done the trick. I just had to do something with her tonight. I'll likely be using Chandra Awakened Inferno going forward, I would imagine. So much so that I've even started to buy a copy of her in paper. Probably going to buy two, but my goodness. Super happy with how the thumbnail turned out tonight as well. Hopefully everyone's having a good night, good morning, good evening, afternoon. My goodness, this list, this seems to do the trick. Uh, very, very exciting stuff. Adam, good evening. Hopefully it's going well for you. Huh, we'll just start right off at the top. Chandra's Regulator. I think this is going to be a little bit surprising for people, but I think it's worth talking about. Maybe even upping it to two copies. Hey, Retro Hits, how's it going? How's it going? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use this other than a truly dedicated Chandra Planeswalker tribal list, you know, having a bunch of Awakened Infernos, um, Torch of Defiance, a couple other versions of Chandra, and then copying her loyalty ability with this card. Oh, good, st oh, good day with Standard, yeah. I imagine Standard is a lot better with the Meat Hook Massacre ban, not having to worry about Mono Red. Helping out, I would imagine, with those aggressive decks, for sure. No. Haven't got Chandra's Regulator to go off too much, but you can imagine how it might help. Of course, adding two emblems a turn, potentially with Awakened Inferno, whatever, we've got a lot of options for this. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You're just getting rid of one card, Meat Hook Massacre, definitely changes the landscape of Standard at the moment incredibly. It's fantastic to read about. Of course, I haven't really played Standard because no dinos, unfortunately. But Lost Caverns of Ixalan coming up in a little over a year's time. That is going to do it. Going back to Chandra's Regulator, though. I'm quite excited. Pay one, tap it to discard a mountain card or a red card. Of course, late game, you know, we have extra lands at our part mountain, stomping ground, sheltered thicket, maybe an extra mountain itself. All right, get rid of it. Maybe Rampaging Frostodon that we don't potentially need. Otepic Huntmaster, of course, if we have Marauding Raptor down already. A few turns later, we draw this thing. We can actually make use of it, cycling it effectively with Chandra's Regulator. That's going to be very, very nice indeed. Oh, hopefully, hopefully, Adam. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for that. I gotta print something. There's definitely gonna be legendary things. There are so many legendary creatures, I feel, I'm pretty sure, in Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan. We're gonna get a bunch in Lost Caverns, definitely. Continuing on with the two slot, as always, well, usually, Marauding Raptor and Otepic Hunt Master, Thunderherd Migration, Super Duper Acceleration, loving this package, continuing to love this package. Copy of Shatter Skull Smashing, if, you know, we need that removal in a pinch. Copy of Domri. Well, ramp, fight, interact, power things up. Good stuff. Topiary Stomper. Stable ramp again. I really am just loving Topiary plus Thunderhood. I think that's probably going to be my go-to searching for land ramp going forward. Of course, Ranging Raptors, whenever it's dealt damage, we search for a basic land, but... Topiary Stomper, at least we always will get that land. If we played Ranging Raptors and I didn't get pinged by Marauding and they don't have many or any creatures or any damage base removal, Ranging Raptors definitely has the potential to feel quite bad, for sure. Rampaging, two copies. I've been facing some life game related decks, so I just thought, uh, yeah, we'll use Rampaging Frostodon. I think it worked quite well, Adam. Absolutely. We'll definitely check it out if you get the chance to, but Rotting Regisaur, 
slapping double strike and trample on it. Whether it's Tamer Battle Rage, the one in a red, or the classic Ember Cleave, very scary stuff. But I did also have Chandra Awakened Inferno in that list, and I'm pretty sure she featured quite heavily, quite importantly, in some of the matches. Again, it is hard to keep everything, you know, in track because I play so much just during the day off stream as well. But it is uh, a very scary list. I think I would probably want to go Jund if I had to. I really was missing the Topiary Stomper and the Thunderherd Migration last night and definitely Marauding Raptor. Cut that, sort of switching it for Labyrinth Raptor, uh, another cheap dino potentially nasty yeah yeah i do miss my green that's for sure copy of shander torch of defiance as you saw there hey does the trick we got shander's regulator so it definitely makes sense another version of shandra to copy some of the painful things that this planeswalker brings and still always sticking with that shifting ceratops bring the pain to mono blue i've done it a couple of times, almost seems like I bring the pain to Mono Blue Spirits, Mono Blue Tempo at least once a day. And that's definitely worth it. Gives us a fighting chance. If we didn't have Shifting Ceratops against Mono Blue, uh, we'd probably lose almost every single match, I would think. Probably. Sky Sovereign. Single copy of this fantastic card my goodness i'm thinking of upping it to two copies i did redeem two copies of sky sovereign kind of accidentally but hey crew three maybe rampaging ferocidon crews the sky sovereign or topeberry stomper before we have seven lands could be a wide range of stuff yes oh absolutely a very nice speed bump if they don't take out torture defiance adam Sometimes we may get to that minus seven of this version of her. And this emblem is, I mean, uh, that's about as nasty as it gets. Whenever we cast a spell, this emblem deals five damage to any target. If we get that, effectively, it's game over, I would say. Later on down the line, oh, we play Huntmaster for a single red. It's going to die to Marauding, but for a single red, five damage to their face. Thunderherd, five damage. Heck, we could play Shatter Skull Smashing for zero. You know, just two red to simply be a spell. Five damage. Good stuff. I like it. Partly why I'm thinking of increasing this to two. Her plus one technically is like two emblems, sort of, from Awakened Inferno. If they can't answer this thing right away. That's going to be very nasty stuff. Of course, Regis or Alpha continuing the pain, the speed, the nasty aggression. Not entirely settled on the two rampaging Frostodons. I might switch that up for something else that costs five. Something a little bit bigger. Carnage Tyrant, still four copies. And then two copies of Galta. Well, that seems to be about the sweet spot for me at the moment. Mana base, we got 22 lands technically with Shatter Skull Smashing right here. Didn't really change up anything. I did cut Lair of the Hydra. Uh, sometimes that has been painful for me. If it's not the first or second land coming into play tapped has really, really slowed me down. I don't don't want to risk it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, today, the turn three Chandra off of the turn two Thunderherd migration. Getting me to four lands, turn three play this boom turn four carnage turned exactly like you say lovely stuff the ramping oh it's so beautiful say we got an early chandra's regulator down something like that play this at a later turn have at least one left as minus three copy that four damage to two different creatures or we super duper ramp Maybe we ultimate and we copy that. That would just be disgusting if we got two of her emblems. Man, scary stuff. If it wasn't lights out already, it would be after that. Big time. But this, this thing, oh, 
Cinder Vines has actually helped me against the Yorion decks, enchantments, artifacts, whatever it is. Of course, we do have Thrashing Bront on potentially, but Cinder Vines against maybe Control, uh, Is It, Spells, something like that. This thing really has started to bring the pain. They never really use removal on Cinder Vines. As long as we have at least one up, we can sacrifice it in response. Oftentimes it can stick around, ping, chip away quite nicely, and it has led to the win a couple times already. But it's just nice. The more we get, the better it gets whenever they cast a non-creature spell. There's certainly a lot of decks that cast a lot of non-creature spells. Man, man, that's a painful, painful thing to see. We get that. Maybe they're casting a non-creature spell every turn. Cinder Vines, in that case, is kind of like an emblem, you could say. Stack the em emblems here. Ping with this. Ping with Torch of Defiance. You get the idea. We're really going to chip away and bring the pain. Risk Factor. Well, that's something new for me, but maybe against control, you know, two and a red. Instant Speed. Maybe there's a pretty good chance they just take four. If they don't, I'd love to draw three cards for two and a red. Either way, it's going to be a good thing. I'm quite excited for this, but not 100% settled on risk factor. I just thought I'd like to try it out. Should be pretty good. Had two copies. Never really tried it before, but it seems to make sense. So I'm quite excited for it. And then another copy of Awakened Inferno. Starting off with two, and then if we just really need her and love her and think she's going to be fantastic in a certain matchup, bring that third copy in. My goodness. Lovely stuff. Instant speed interaction, because that's usually always a good deal. Four reckless rages. Bing, bang, boom. Grease bang. Whatever it is, maybe mono green. There are a lot of stuff with four toughness, four or less. And that's always... A good thing to do. Definitely spirits if maybe they use up their mana, flash in a spirit at the end of our turn, respond with this thing to take it out, and possibly they're completely tapped out so we don't have to worry about a counter spell. Luckily. Then we got another copy of Torture Defiance. Maybe we just want to bring in all the copies of Chandra. Definitely increase the chance of Chandra's regulator to really gain some extra value. Then three copies of Ripjaw. I'm thinking of increasing it to four, maybe cutting one copy of Torch of Defiance. Ripjaw is just so good. So fantastic, but we'll leave it like that for now. I'm quite excited. Hopefully you guys are excited. As excited as I am for what's going to be very painful stuff. Oh, oh, yeah. And uh, later on, later on, I should show you guys some cards. I'm thinking of possibly using there's a couple others but there's some very spicy spicy additions in there might work them in for tomorrow night or something we'll have to see hmm who's the first worthy opponent maybe it's always control something like that it's a knight of control we don't really face any rakdos definitely doesn't seem to be um, nearly as often war wizard huh Ooh. Well, well, some... I, th I think they've got to do a jurassic park secret lair absolutely I'm going to keep that. They've taken one mulligan. We're on the draw. I feel like we got a good chance to get something nice. Oh, oh ooh, this is looking interesting. Hopefully we get that Thunderherd Migration, Topiary Stomp, or another sort of... Oh, well, this might do it for us, unfortunately. I mean, we do have Chandra. Can't be countered. Shifting Ceratops. That might help us out, but... A turn three Lotus Field is not a good thing, indeed. Ouch. That is, oh, phew, phew. That was lucky. Of course, Drifting Ceratops doesn't get pinged by Marauding, but we'll certainly be as aggressive as possible. 
hope they don't sweep us next turn, but I I think that's going to happen, unfortunately. Something bad is bound to happen. Now, you know what? Let's try for Regulator. See if it draws out that counter spell. Good stuff. Good stuff. I would imagine the Wandering Emperor or something like that. Ugh, nuts. Nah, we'll get rid of this uh, Hunt Master like I was saying. Shander's Regulator. Bam. We have a redundant copy of Hunt Master there, so that's infinitely better than just it being stuck in our hand. So it's fantastic. You already see the potential usefulness of that thing. Can't play Shatter Skull, unfortunately. Would have been nice to go Regis or Alpha, but yeah, it's going to be an uphill battle. Whenever they get that early Lotus Field, it may just be it. I'll hold out hope, though, that Awakened Infernal might help save us. Hmm. Well, well, we do get Regisaur. Definitely. Actually, we can play Huntmaster and Regisaur because we just don't pay the costs. It does not look too good. Technically, uh, sometimes Strict Proctor does help us with uh, Decline. Stopping the Marauding Raptor pings. We get the cost reduction, of course, but we don't have to worry about Marauding killing Huntmaster. I'm going to decline that. Either way, it's going to be uh, going to be rough. Swing with Regisaur at least. One of the strict proctors will block. Oh. We'll just hope that we draw six land next turn for Chandra and maybe have a slim chance. Sweeper. No sweeper. Oh boy. Well, well, well. See what happens to this. See what they have for all this stuff. Swing away with absolutely everything. Settle the wreckage. Oh, well, it, no, this does get us our basic lands. At least. You know, that's not nothing. That's a lot of lands. Hmm. Well, we'll get Chandra down next turn. We'll be able to tick it up to two emblems right away. But I might just do her minus three, the sweeper, take out all the creatures they have immediately. That might be nice now that I think about it. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fantastic, actually. We have to do it. To have any chance. Boom. Ooh. Ooh, this looks that's pretty sweet. Take it down a lot of their stuff. I like it. Seiju, take out Shark Typhoon, absolutely. Misty, how's it going? Well, it's going pretty good. It was looking pretty bad, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah, well, it's going okay. We're trying to claw back something against 
Azorius Lotus Field ramp. Sometimes when they go first and they get an early Lotus Field, that might be it. Lights out, unfortunately. But we're kind of making something happen here. A slim chance at getting a win. Yeah, that will do it. That was pretty sweet, though. Uh, but we scared them. I hope, at least a little bit. Cinder vines, absolutely. Against control, I like it. Rampaging Frostodon, don't really need that. I want Awakened Inferno. Maybe Torch of Defiance. Yeah. Sky Sovereign, potentially could take out a Planeswalker. I have done that actually a few times. Been quite nice, but potentially they have some flying things as well. And we got to cut something somewhere. Definitely keeping in the regulator. That was pretty darn sweet. Absolutely. Risk factor, I think, would be nice as well. Hmm. I think we got to cut regulator, though. Two hunt master. Gotta cut something somewhere. Definitely looking forward to maybe stacking those emblems with big Chandra. Oh, hey, that looks pretty good to me. Definitely nice thing, hunt master, since we did cut a couple copies. Certainly gonna keep a Seiju there. That worked pretty nice taking out Shark Typhoon. Go with Cinder Vines. I don't actually have a play if I did go Hunt Master. They could do Portable Hole on that or something nasty. Doomscar, I'm thinking. Doomscar or a Counter Spell, unfortunately. Let's see what they got. Well, nothing quite yet. And they only have one source of white, which is good. Two sources, nuts. Mm, I think they're holding up for something good. Let's see what Carnage Tyrant gets us. I think it could be Settle the Wreckage, unfortunately. Well, if it is Settle the Wreckage, we're about to find out. I think if I had attacked with Marauding Raptor, they'd flash in the Wandering Emperor and exile it. Nice seeing Cinder Vines already put in a little bit of work, too. Whew. And Cinder Vines potentially could save Marauding or Huntmaster from a portable hole there make them in a whole lot of trouble. All right, let's try for Galta and see if that draws out a counter spell. Ooh, it does not. Hmm. There we go. There's one settle. Maybe they got another. I feel like they probably have another, unfortunately. I'll keep Marauding Raptor back just in case they got a sweeper. Hmm. Farewell. That's okay. I mean, it's not exactly okay, but we're trying our best here. Hmm. Wondering about taking out Castle Ardenvale there. No. I'll save the Seiju in case they go with uh, Shark Typhoon. Speaking of. Boom. I know what I'm taking out. Is 
shifting ceratops. Let's go. That's not shifting ceratops. Oh, this is tense. Okay, so it's not saw it coming. It's not a doom scar. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that foretold card. Hmm. Chandra Awakened Inferno would probably help us out quite a bit. Oh, oh, speaking of, let's go, folks. Bing, bang, boom. Get her done. I hope. Alrighty. They do have enough to make a token. Let's force them to do that. At least we do have one emblem. Teferi, I can imagine, is probably going to bounce Chandra. Absolutely. There's just no, no way they would never do that. Now hopefully we have another copy coming up right here. I'm even thinking of jamming all four copies against a deck like this, stack those emblems, once it lands, somebody answers it. If they don't, it's looking pretty good. At least we do have a body down. Stop some of their aggression. And they don't have um, the whatchamacallit thingamajig. All of Storm Giants. That's... I had a brain fart there for a second. I know bad stuff is going to happen. Man, if that's also a Chandra right on top, whew, whew, we may have a chance here. Ah, nah, I'll, I'll take it. Huntmaster might be able to give somebody haste if that is some hasty body carnage turned hasty would be quite nice next turn don't think they have a sweeper They're playing this strict proctor I feel they don't have a sweeper they may have another settle the wreckage perhaps oh shifting ceratops well how about that let's take it out The worldly light is good. It is. That's okay. Well, Domri's gonna die next turn to the Strict Proctor, unfortunately. Make a bunch of tokens and whatnot. But the emblem continues to chip away. Hasty is tasty, Adam, whenever it does stick around. But certainly that Carnage Tyrant would have done the trick. Now, probably get another emblem. I don't think they have enough to... Uh, I guess I should probably take out this thing. Yeah. Don't really need Huntmaster anymore. Ooh, all of the Storm Giants might lock things up for them. It's going to be down to the wire, that's for sure. Now, I could potentially sweep everything, but I... I should probably just get that emblem. Absolutely. Well, discontinuity will uh, discontinue our chances. Hey, that's how it goes. It was always going to be an unfavored matchup anyways. Especially that early Lotus Field. Eek, it uh, painful, to say the least. I'd like to take a lawnmower to that field. I love 
cutting grass and stuff. So I'd be extra satisfied mowing that stuff down. Weed whacker, gas powered, big, massive gas powered weed whacker with the strap so it supports everything because it's so heavy and just safety glasses of course because safety is the number one priority wonder if you can get some sort of high off of lotuses hmm. yeah either way it was close it was fun we saw awakened inferno kind of get there a little bit but they had a lot of fantastic bodies too it really chips away at the life this ooh, that's uh that's not looking so good oh not that either but i think we're gonna have to keep it unfortunately send the queen to the bottom Cleansing wildfire. Yeah, well, that's good. That is a pretty sweet combo. Oh, phew, at least we got it. Now, hopefully, Marauding Raptor survives. Hmm. Mono red fires of invention is what's coming up, I feel. Monored artifact fires of invention, whatever you want to call it. But I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to be seeing at some point. Cinder vines, I think definitely, it's going to be a very, very nice thing to be doing. At least we will take out Karn. That feels good. nuts hmm yeah I'm excited for game two with cinder vines there my oh my definitely take the ping rotting for two topiary for two as always lovely lovely play hard to top it hopefully getting a sixth land next turn we can drop awakened infernal I may just drop galta though if things are still surviving and around. E, yeah, that's taking out marauding. No. Regis or Alpha? Give her a go. Could have done Galta, I guess, but either way, it's going to be an uphill battle. Galta definitely next turn, but I'd probably like to take out Terror of the Peaks. Ouch, that's painful. Hey, we got our own Sky Sovereign, but doesn't really do a whole lot for us in this scenario. Okay, okay, so Mono Red Dragon Artifact, um, whatchamacallit, Hodgepodge, Mismatch, something. I still think Cindervines is going to be quite good with what we saw there. Gotta be. And they got Karn and they got Sky Sovereign. Yeah, yeah. I like. Cinder Vines. Reckless Rage? That was actually, yes, yes, please. Terror of the Peaks, four. Toughness. Glory Bringer, four. Toughness. Reckless Rage, four damage. That is a no brainer if I've ever seen one. Ripjaw, certainly. Torch of Defiance, minus three, four damage. Boom. Done. Rampaging, don't really need that. Oh. You know what? I kind of feel like we don't need Cinder Vines, actually. They probably don't have as many 
artifacts as I think they're going to have. Of course, Awakened Inferno would be nice. But I got, got to cut something somewhere. Shifting. Cut all copies of that, unfortunately. Regulator. Yeah. Sky Sovereign. Yeah, let's cut that. Bring in another copy of Shifting. Just basically another nice body. Keep up the potential aggression. The chance for it. Would be pretty cool to take down a the Chandra. That was nuts. That almost would have been absolutely beautiful. Okay, well that's slightly better. Kind of clunky in the land department. Actually, I'm going to Send Inferno to the bottom. I think we may have a decent chance to see the Queen. Oh, and we at least get to turn to Marauding. We're off to the races here. We are not off to the races. Never mind. Okay, cross your fingers they don't have another one of those. But I bet they do. Lots of removal. Man, that is just a beautiful interaction there. Yeah, we got four. Phew. If they don't get much of anything next turn, they die. They could have a sweeper, of course. Storm's Wrath would do the trick. Fires of Invention. Well, all is not lost. Maximum aggression. Hopefully Carnage Tyrant is safe. I feel it should be. Oh, you can't target that. Yeah, no, I'm bringing in Cinder Vines. If it goes to game three, I should have brought that in for Fires of Invention. Yeah. That's going to be our ticket. What is the nastiest thing they can grab? They can play pretty much any artifact, I would imagine. They got six lands. They've only played one thing so far. Boom. Boom. Done. Didn't even bother searching for anything. Maybe there was nothing that was going to save them. Cinder Vines is going to save us, though. Absolutely. I still want to keep Reckless Rage. Seeing those dragons. Torch of Defiance. That's, that's very nice, but Reckless Rage is going to do the trick, I feel, for sure. Could have hunt Master. Possibly two hunt masters. Let's do that. All right. We still got the four Thunderherd migration, four marauding, two hunt masters, ten total plays for turn two to keep the acceleration going. But we saw them bring in some targeted damage base removal. Gonna have to cross our fingers that doesn't happen. But we got a fantastic starting hand here. Three lands, source red, marauding. Topiary guaranteed if they do take out Marauding. Hopefully they don't get off. Oh, phew. They didn't get that early cleansing fire, but it might be Cathartic Pyre. Oh, not Carth Cathartic Pyre? Maybe. Hmm. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay, okay. Well, let's be as aggressive as possible. We may be seeing Galta next turn. If all goes well. There 
fires that fires besage you next turn to take out fires of invention pretty sure that's what i'm doing at least they can't play that artifact that they got oh Hmm, that's a tough one. Topia for two, Galta for two. Ah, you know what, Besaju just has to happen. Take it out. Don't ask any questions. Don't look back. Just do it. Get that stomper. I am quite uh, happy and pleased that Besaju has been shown up quite nicely, taking out that Shark Typhoon against Azorius Control and taking out Fires of Invention here. It's a big help. I'm thinking I might need to increase it to two copies because it does come in clutch, so key. Maybe put that second copy in the sideboard, bring it in if there's something very nasty that I have to worry about. Oh, yes, no fires of invention. Good. It's always a painful time when they have that. But we got Reckless Rage to take out Reflection. Yes, please. Definitely Galt. I was thinking Thunderherd Migration, but we just need the Queen down ASAP. Good stuff, we got him. That will do it, I think. It's gonna be close, that's for sure. Good old Carney T. Whoopee. No real point of uh, attacking with the topiary stomper. I guess I could have. Golos plus that might have blocked to take out one. Sky Sovereign would have taken out one. Yeah. That'll get him, though. Using Golos' ability there didn't get a whole lot of anything. Yeah. Got her done. Luckily. Man. Didn't even need the Cinder Vines. But it was good to have it. Cinder Vines could have taken out Golos being an artifact creature. Always nice taking out that scary thing. My goodness. Yeah, a lot of artifacts. Definitely liking the Cinder Vines. Maybe if I have to take out Huntmaster, if the matchup is bad, I could bring in Cinder Vines potentially. A same mana value. Pretty similar costs as well. Well, hard to deal with Cinder Vines for sure. That's going to put in the work. Chipping away. Sometimes Huntmaster does chip away, and sometimes Huntmaster actually has led to the win. Very rarely. I think one time I may have slapped an Ember Cleave on Huntmaster. That was pretty uh, painful for the opponent, I think. Definitely. I know I won a game with Raptor Hatching. Pretty sure I may have put Captain's Hook on it, which turns the creature it's attached to into a pirate in addition to its other types. It was quite amusing having a pirate, a little pirate dinosaur. Pirate in training, I guess. Monet.
Yeah, I think we can work with that. On the draw button, we got three lands. Eventually getting to Topiary Stomper there. If it's something blue related, covered with Shifting Ceratops. A Jaya Avatar though. Hmm. Something red related maybe. Is it spells? Is it wizards? Just guy? I think they have a counter spell of some kind, but we didn't have a turn to play, technically. Shelter Thicket has to cut. Hey, there's. Uh, so we know they got sneaky stuff up their sleeve. Waiting to counter something. Well, let's see if they counter Rampaging Frosidon. Okay, so it feels like they might not have that. Hmm. Is it Gearhawk? I think. Now I could go Torch of Defiance. I think I kind of want to go Torch of Defiance, although I do like Topiary Stomper. Five. Let's go Torch of Defiance. Yeah. Hey. Boom. We got two damage. We have plenty of lands. That's pretty nice. Recycling. Carplusen Forest there. Man, that is good stuff. They're really going to want to get rid of her ASAP. Oh, Awakened Inferno, folks. We're rolling in it. Boom. I like it. Can't counter that. I hope it sticks around a couple turns. We could do a really big Shatter Skull smashing with Torch of Defiance. Hopefully we get to seven, we do the emblem. Ping that way, as well as the emblems from uh, Awakened Inferno there. They're gonna cheat out uh, something nasty. Uh, creativity, Gear Hulk. Um, it's happening this turn, I think. Magma Opus is showing its face. Ah, yes. Let's see that Gear Hulk. Never faced this deck before. Hmm. What do they deal four damage to? One of the Chandras, I would imagine. Interesting that it's tapped. That doesn't really do anything, but uh, now the question is, Beseju, take out Gear Hulk. I do like that. I definitely like getting another emblem, that's for sure. Actually, we can go Beseju. Uh, one, two. Oh, oh, we can do it. Look at this, folks. Two red. Very nice. I'm certain they won't do anything for the one treasure. I don't think they can do anything with that one treasure to interrupt us. Then we'll take out the Gearhawk plus the token there. Hope that buys us some good amount of time. At least it should protect the Chandra. Well, both Chandras. Boom! Oh, look at that, folks. That is exactly the thing I was hoping would happen. A scenario like that. Package both versions. Pings, pings, pings. Taking stuff out. Ramping. Stack the emblems. What are you going to do? It would have been lights out. If we didn't have those in the deck, absolutely. Again, some decks just naturally, the dinos prevail. 
they don't interact a whole lot of course we're just going to take over being aggressive but against a deck like that our silver bullets torture defiance awakened inferno bring the heat certainly living up to tonight's thumbnail that's that's for certain but cinder vines potentially that will be nice taking out the gear hawks uh, lots of non-creature stuff i could see myself cutting huntmaster actually lots of painful stuff that could see huntmaster kick the can i think i may just bring in uh, both of them yeah they worked out so fantastically i'd say we don't need rampaging frostodon get that risk factor two risk factors cut a queen don't want to be too mean and we will burn it all down yeah don't even have to worry about a resolved gear hulk but seeing how lovely shatter skull smashing was there yeah and because torture defiance ramps with the two red very nice increasing the chances we can do the maximum shatter skull and take out pretty much anything six damage to two creatures a creature a planeswalker that's nasty stuff and hopefully this isn't a sensor i'll be crossing my fingers that's for sure oh they don't have a sensor good good very good Ah, yeah, let's keep going with Topiary, I hope. I'll get another Sorcerer Red just in case we need it down the line, but Awakened Inferno next turn. Ooh, beautiful. I think that's going to bring the pain. Could be indomitable creativity this turn, though. Maybe getting Sublime Epiphany. Ugh, nuts. Hopefully it's not too bad. And double gear hooks. Ouch. I could potentially probably just go shifting ceratops deter the gear hawks into infinity now that i think about it yeah let's do that as long as they don't have removal for shifting that is oh the ether gust okay okay but we'll maybe just be dead with two five sixes unfortunately That was sublimely amazing, that sublime epiphany. We get a carnage turned, I hope. That ether gust does the trick. Hey, sometimes there's nothing you can do, especially against two five sixes. Ooh. On cinder vines. I think cinder vines would have been pretty nice in that scenario. Taking out the gear hulk, they don't have any creatures to copy. Oh, hey, speaking of, look at this. I like it. Asking you shall receive. Hoo hoo. I think they're probably pretty scared after that first game they know the nastiest the nastiness that is about to transpire hopefully this deck will take me higher
I think I'll go cinder vines. That was, uh, yeah, yeah, Marauding Raptor, just in case they have a sensor next turn. Hopefully they don't have anything to deal with marauding. But at the very least, I think we should still get the topiary, even if they take it out. There's the sensor, good stuff. All right. Phew. Ah, the forest. We got that mountain in hand. Pretty healthy in the land department, actually. Well, they could do creativity this turn, I think. Question is, try for Chandra? Let's try for Thunderherd. See if that draws out a counter spell. No. I think this will. So they do have a sensor. Nuts. Oh, the magma op is painful. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Four, five. So we have seven. Four, three, two, nine. I think we gotta do Awakened Inferno. Take out the Gearhawk. Actually, let's get an emblem. And then hold back on the Topiary Stomper. If all goes well, Topiary could block the Gearhawk. We would still get another emblem next turn with her and all that good stuff. I'm gonna throw everything at her for sure. Actually, you know what? Let's take out that token instead. I like that. If I was going to be putting an emblem on her anyways. Hopefully they don't have something that deals three damage to a planeswalker. Ooh. Counterspell. Oh, we can't play Risk Factor, unfortunately. That would have been pretty cool. I think it's looking all right. We got two emblems. We got Torture Defiance. Lots of painful stuff. I don't think Gearhawk is going to want to swing at our face. Going to want to take one of those things out. But then again, Adam, like you mentioned, that's going to buy us some time here. Hopefully enough time. Understandable. Hmm. Torture Defiance, hopefully. Do two damage, play the second copy. Oh, uh, whatchamacallit, yeah. Another Gearhawk, oh, that's not good. Ouch. Ah, 
Well, shifting ceratops might help us out, but well, that's, that's yeah, no, that that will do it. Ouch. That's not good. Ah, Awakened Inferno would have been nice. Yeah, they got lucky with the gear hoax. But we took them down once in pretty good fashion. That was exciting stuff. Man, that gear hawk is nasty. Roll. I just realized they didn't even have the music up this whole time. Okay, we're back in business, folks. Get to see what's playing. And speaking of music, I'm looking into another option. One of my favorite uh, labels, Monster Cat. Might get um, Monster Cat Go so I can stream thousands of their electronic stuff. Oh, I've been listening to it for a long, long time. Fantastic beats. I think you guys are going to like it. Well, maybe as much as I like this hand because that's pretty sweet. Huntmaster plus Stomper plus Ceratops, switch. again... It's looking like something else control related. So shifting, I don't think that's gonna do it. Gonna cross my fingers, they don't do anything to Thunderherd. It's not very threatening, and if they have counter spells, I feel they save it for actual creatures most of the time. Definitely this person did not expect to face dinos, I would imagine. But if all goes well, Huntmaster plus Topiary. Similar to Marauding Raptor plus Topiary, whatever it is, it's fantastic explosive ramp right there. Get scared. Hmm. Man, I have no idea. Switch up the game plan against dinosaurs. I don't think there's a sensor. It didn't pause at all with the Thunderherd migration, yeah. Hopefully. Either way, we would still get Regis or Alpha next turn if everything sticks around. I may actually go Carplus in Forest Plus Topiary. Ooh, yeah. yeah. We could... We could get Topiary and Regisaur next turn. Man, that would be nice. Hey, Fateful Absence. Lovely stuff. If you want to use it on Topiary, we've already got the benefit, so... I mean, it's not a total waste, but... Definitely nice seeing them use it on Topiary rather than Shifting or Regisaur, but that might just mean they have maybe another copy in hand, so they felt pretty safe doing that. Oh, double shifting against this list. Yes, I like it. Got a lot of painful stuff, luckily. I think they could have a counter spell. They probably have removal, something like that. But shifting can give itself haste, and then hunt master can give haste to topiary stomper. Now they could have a wandering emperor. We're about to find out. Hopefully, it's not to settle the wreckage. Maybe they're trying to bluff because they do have Settle. Okay, okay. Well, we learned they have it. Not unheard of, not a surprise, that's for sure. I mean, it's pretty nice with Topia. It has Vigilance. Never tapped, we never have to worry about the Wandering Emperor exiling it. It was pretty fantastic when I saw that 
It has vigilance, helping us out against this fantastic planeswalker. Hey, that's okay. We got good stuff. Now the question is, take out, uh, well, yeah, we'll take out Wandering Emperor. Can't do anything to this if I don't sweep again. I mean, that's going to be lovely. I definitely prefer to hold back the Shifting Ceratopses. And we do get to draw a card here, which is quite nice. Oh, Carnage Tarn, my goodness. It's going to be pain every single turn. Maybe not play out both Shiftings, possibly Carnage Tarn next turn. We'll see, we'll see. See what they do here. If it's a memory deluge and they're mostly tapped out and we can at least get a swing with Carnage Tarrant, I might do that. Hmm. So they don't have a sweeper, that's for sure. Oh, but an Awakened Infernal? Okay, okay. Let's just, let's try it. I like it. Stack those emblems. Oh man, it just feels so good starting off with this version of her, game one, whenever we do face a deck like this. Beautiful. Put them on a clock at least. Hope they don't have another Wandering Emperor. Oh, go, ho, ho. Good stuff. I'm really liking this package. We got dinos naturally, fantastic, powerful, hasty, scary things backed up by the Chandra, both Chandras to ping, do lots of damage. Of course, Field of Ruin, not doing much of anything. Never really a problem when they do that. Man, if we can get another emblem, oh, I'll be rolling in it. Just hope there's no Wandering Emperor to gain back a little bit of life. Go, oh, phew, stack them, stack them, attack them, smack them. Not eh, just because we got Regis, or hopefully they don't kill it, but swing with Carney T. Man, that is a fantastic animation. Settle the wreckage. Dead. They knew they were done. Lights out on Azorius control. What do you do against that? Who knows? Luckily, I don't have to ask that question. Well, I see the portable hole. Uh, sometimes that's pretty painful. It is nice, portable hole, saving our hunt master or marauding raptor from a board wipe. Let it go off, sacrifice cinder vines, take a portable hole, get the creature back in some cases. Hmm. I don't think we need rampaging. We gotta take somebody out. Torch of Defiance. Now let's go, Cinder Vines. Cut the Hunt Master. Risk Factor. Yeah, that's good.
just have to be a little bit quiet. Somebody's not sleeping well at the moment. Nuts. But that's pretty good. We're pinging them. I like it. Whew. Cindervine's really put in the work there. My goodness. Hasty shifting next turn. Possibly Regis or Alpha because they're tapped out. Chandra awakened in oh they got a counter spell definitely definitely excited for Regis or Alpha just because we can safely go with that now I could take out Narset but I'm not really worried about what they'll get I feel pretty positive that absorb isn't going to be doing much of anything. It's pretty nice seeing the counter spells be basically useless. Now, six Carnage. I like Carnage Time because has hex proof and they don't have two sources of white so we don't have to worry about settle the wreckage that is good there might be something to deal with regisaur or the token but i guess nothing for regisaur at instant speed it seems oh boy oh boy if they play stuff to kill stuff, they still die from the cinder vines, just chipping away, doing its work, as I hoped it would tonight. Boom. Ugh. We got a cinder vines and a shifting. Oh, if they play literally any non-creature spell, they die. We got them. We got them, folks. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Guys, are dinos supposed to do that good against Azorius Control? You tell me. If we're not scared of a deck like that, I think this list has a very good chance to climb up the ranks. Wow. Wow. I'd, I may cut that. I think I'm going to cut that as a highlight match for tonight, at least. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you haven't already. This is for the future, and yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, hopefully we can continue that utter annihilation, domination, burning control to the ground. That feels good nothing they could do man well i know what i'm keeping in the list putting them to sleep hopefully my daughter will sleep a little bit better but uh, that's all right maybe she's going through some growing pains i do talk somewhat quietly i would like to talk a little bit more but i'm always worried she's going to hear a little bit at least or just a hint of my voice that would probably wake her up 
She wants to see what daddy is doing and she does miss sleeping with us. Sometimes when she is scared, transitioning her into her big bed, that doesn't go so well. Sort of like this hand that would not go so well if I kept it. Oh, okay, that's better. Not 20 anymore, man, a bunch of diamond ones tonight. Maybe we're spoiling their chances. I'll send the queen to the bottom just in case. I'd rather keep a inferno. Ooh, mono blue spirits, well, I am glad I kept inferno. Yes siree. If we can land shifting next turn, we're good. We're golden, I think. Oh, no. Yes, no. They could bounce marauding. A lot of it is counter spells and curious obsession on the mausoleum wanderer and stuff. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, marauding is safe. Okay, we got the shifting. Bam. Oh man, this is beautiful. Take the ping, unfortunately. Get good old shifting, turn three, lovely. Unfortunately, we can't attack with it or, uh, but yeah, that, that's the thing you want against this deck. They're gonna have to get aggressive. If we can get to six, it's gonna be nice, but that doesn't look like it's the case. Yeah, it's definitely gotta be Shatter Skull this turn. Give us any chance. I'm gonna swing with Marauding. Threaten a bit more damage, and then we've got the one green for shifting reach. Now, potentially, we could surprise them here. Hopefully, that's the case. Definitely take out Supreme Phantom. But they do have Faceless Haven, so actually, I might want to drop that. Hmm, five, uh, seven, eight, nine. I kind of like the Phantom. Oh, oh, this is nasty. Well, that, boom, there you go. Exactly lethal. Wow. Double marauding, 12. Oh, phew. That was sweet. Man, I love that. Oh, scary stuff. Okay. Uh, Reckless Rage. Chances are they have counter spells into infinity, as is usually the case with mono blue spirits. They'll either give hexproof to something, counter something. Although Reckless Rage getting that um, face of saving. Yeah, that is very satisfying. Rampaging, I don't really need that. Definitely want Awakened Inferno. Hmm. Ah, you know what? Let's do Reckless Rage. I don't think there's a big chance we'll get to Sky Sovereign. I, yeah, I want to interact as much as possible. Reckless Rage definitely, I think, would come in more handy than a late game Sky Sovereign. Ooh, ooh, that looks pretty darn sweet. Hopefully we can get to her. That's going to be nice. Definitely Thunderherd Migration. Okay, foof. I was worried for a second there they might counter it. I think we'll be fast enough here.
At least they didn't get the turn to curious obsession on the spirited, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. Ah, you know what, let's go with Carplusen. Have two left over for Besedra if we wanted to take out Curious Obsession there. We'll get to Chandra either way. Shutter Thicket potentially we could cycle. Shatter Skull might be nice to take out somebody if they're completely tapped out. Oh, interesting. No, I may just try to take out Curious Obsession. Ooh, back-to-back -back Curious Obsessions is not a pretty thing. Ah, you know what, let's do it. I don't like a deck like this drawing cards. And we've got our Chandra. And we stop ourselves taking a little bit of damage. Ooh. Well, here goes nothing. We get our next turn. Hopefully we're still alive. Six, I think there's a decent chance we will be. Definitely considering countering that. Oh. So it looks like we'll be left with Topiary. We'll be at seven lands. So we would be able to attack him with that thing next turn. Of course, Marauding can't block anything. Try and get a little bit of damage. Some use out of it when we do sweep them next turn. But, wow, that that was so nice of them. Oh, but we didn't replay it, so they may be thinking, ah, we got something up our sleeve, which is correct. some creatures. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I hope. It was pretty cool that they stole Topiary Stomper though. Phasing out the Wanderer, very good. Ah, nuts, they got to seven. Ouch. Exactly lethal. This was trading it back and forth. Perhaps I shouldn't have revealed that I had Chandra, but... Eh, nothing we can do in that situation. We still got him. Hopefully landing the shifting ASAP. It's no shifting, but I think it has potential with the Reckless Rage. If it was just without that and something else, I'd probably switch it up. Ooh, ooh, that's, that's good. That helps. That does not.
Well, they got rid of uh, Spell Pierce, which is nice. Ish. Where is that shifting Ceratops? I'll hold out hope for shifting, but um, that's what spirits do. Counter everything you have. Yeah, no, that's not going to do it. Yeah. Luck of the draw, luck of the draw, and it was on their side that time. But we did take down Missouri's control. It's hard to top a match like that. Fantastic fashion. Yeah. Yeah, they got lucky, those spirits. More control, let's do it. That'd be nice to take down Azorius twice in one night. My goodness. Captain Crunch. Ooh, well, I think I can work with that. A little bit iffy two lands but we got hunt master marauding possibly lee oh, okay looking good looking good our first rakdos of the night potentially Nazis. Ooh, just the bone okay okay this is pretty good hunt master uh, hopefully it sticks around It does not. Hey, that's okay. I fully expected it. Worth a try. Worth a risk. Unfortunately, I can't uh, go Huntmaster plus Marauding, but hopefully they don't have Fatal Push. Likely that's about to happen. Calatus, that's not so bad, actually. Now that I think about it, yeah. Altus wanted to trade with Marauding, I'd be happy. Okay. Hopefully they don't have a second copy in hand, but I think they do. Liliana, also not the worst thing in the world. We'll definitely sacrifice Huntmaster, that's for sure. Been nice getting that hasty carnage time, but at least we get to take her out. And hope they don't have fatal push for it. Good, 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 good. Yikes, that is not good. Rage Storm, pretty nice. Shield Red, if um, they wanted to trade with it, I'd be happy. Hopefully, Rage Storm sticks around and we can go Hasty Galta next turn. Ooh, ooh, we do. Bam, all out maximum aggression. Pretty good. Hopefully we get a, another source of red or just another land next turn we would at least be able to go Carnage Tyrant. 
Oh, yeah, nuts. Well, they got a block. Uh, Regis Oriana yeah, makes sense. Ish. Ooh, that's not good. If we can get that next source to red, Awakened Inferno. Oh, that life gain though on Calatus, that might keep him healthy. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah. No, well, that's how it goes. You just don't draw the six lands, the second source of red. Definitely, I feel I have certainly enough sources of red for sure. Especially with Torch of Defiance. But, um, you know, just sometimes that's how it goes against a deck like that. Yeah, I do like Awakened Inferno and Ripjaw Raptor. Although they have a lot of ways of removing it. Nah, you know what? I'm going to keep Ripjaw out. The Reckless Rage is nice. Taking out Calatus. Possibly Cinder Vines, although they got a lot of creatures. Cinder Vines to take out Reflection of Kiki Jiki is eh, pretty good. Pretty good. Hunt Master. I say we can just cut three Hunt Masters. Keep one in, eh, just in case, you know. But the stomps, the fatal pushes. Hunt Master does not survive too long against this deck. Eesh. Ooh, that's not going to do it. Okay, much better. Nazis. Ah, nuts. We're getting rid of Thunderherd, unfortunately. That sucks. Oh. Yeah, okay. Hopefully they don't have another one and we still get to go Thunderherd next turn. Ooh, ooh. We get to go Topiary Stomper instead. I like it. You know, Reckless Rage will be coming down at some point. That's going to be pretty sweet. Eh, we already got our benefit from Topiary. Not bad. Would have been nice to go double Thunderherd if it was, or if, no, nah, no. Only one Thunderherd. That's okay. At least we're at six. Awakened Inferno, potentially. Hopefully I'll take out Liliana at some point. We'll definitely discard this second Thunderherd here. Keep the stomping ground in hand, unfortunately. You won't be outsmarting me. Yeah, that, uh, that will do it, certainly. Would take 10, technically, uh, well, 
possibly twelve. Graveyard Glutton exiling two things. Shield, Dread, and then when we draw a card next turn, yeah. Well, at least the match was quick. Hopefully this one coming up will be a positive one. But it's been positive overall. Again, I love dinos. Sometimes you just don't win. Doesn't matter what you do. The algorithm may not be on your side. But it will turn around. Definitely sticking with something like this list. Maybe something a little bit more durable to those counter spells. That's spirits. Even though we have shifting ceratops, I like to really... Well, I'm thinking of bringing the pain even more than just shifting and carnage tyrant and inferno. Something to drop them down even further. I think it's too risky. Taken out marauding, likely, I would imagine. Yeah. Okay, ooh, that looks pretty good. Quite a bit better. Phew. Oh, it's some Grixis. Interesting. Pretty sure we didn't see a source of blue that last game. Oh, no, this is a different match. <laughs> I thought we were still facing the Rakdos. Okay, never mind, never mind. It was over so quick, I'd blink and you miss it. Ooh. Yikes, hopefully they do. Well, I would imagine they have something for... We'll find out. Play with fire. Shock. Stomp. Maybe it's another... Um, Ah, uh, whatchamacallit. Hopefully they don't counter Topia. I was thinking shifting Ceratops, but... I'll, I'll play it a little safer, I, I hope. Good, good. Definitely will grab a mountain. I could see some scenarios needing two sources of red here. And everything else, well, Stomping Ground is a duel, so we do have a source of green. Looks good. Looks good. Hasty Shifting next turn, perhaps. Possibly drop the Regulator plus Shifting, but Regisaur would equal a lot of damage, especially if we can use Hunt Master to give Regisaur itself haste. Could potentially be lethal if they haven't done a whole lot. That's okay, I hope. Ah, nuts. I was worried about that. Huh, at least we got the Ceratops. Good stuff. Hey, MTG Tavern, how's it going? Uh, sometimes, sometimes I have faced uh, Dino versus Dino. It doesn't happen all that often. Can't remember the last time I faced uh, another dinosaur deck. I was probably, I want to say two months ago. Might have been three months ago. Hmm. But yeah, it is pretty cool, for sure. There was a one match, I think, three nights ago where they dropped two Marauding Raptors early on. I think it was something combo-related. It definitely wasn't dinosaurs. Rakdos colors, I believe. It was pretty scary. But it didn't do a whole lot. I think they conceded the second game as well. Very interesting to see Marauding Raptor. I've... Just, don't remember the last time I've seen that. 
and enable some potentially nasty combos with the cost reduction and the pinging. They can do some funny business that way. Maybe they were hoping of taking out Shifting Ceratops, but you can't target it. No siree. Oh, ooh, we, well, almost got him. Close, close. Maximum aggression. Down to one. I don't think they have any way of gaining life. If we get that six land next turn, Inferno, get the emblem. Might finish him up. Oh, okay. Phew, we didn't have to show them that we have the potential of awakened inferno but you saw all the removal they have and they could it could be thousand year storm i'm thinking it's is it thousand year storm whenever they cast a spell copy it for each spell that has been cast before it this turn things definitely get out of control especially if it's a spell that makes treasure tokens copy that spell tons of treasures another thing tons of tons and tons of treasures playing big things just chaining and dumping maybe everything in their hands drawing a bunch of cards it's not a pretty sight so if it is thousand year storm and this deck naturally is playing pretty much all non-creature spells uh cinder vines that's the way to go hunt master gotta say goodbye to that guy i think marauding Ra yeah we're gonna play it safe take out marauding raptor as well bring in inferno certainly Against this deck, risk factors, yeah. Defiance, all right. A little bit slower on uh, the acceleration, but if Marauding Raptor and Hunt Master were basically guaranteed to die anyways, might as well cut them. There was a very good chance they were dead. And, oh, starting off with two Cinder Vines. That feels pretty good. And Defiance. Hopefully, this version of her helps uh, lead to Inferno. Oh boy, I'm liking our chances. Hopefully no sensor, but I think they could have it. Sensor. We didn't see him discard any sensor the previous game. Okay, okay. Is it burn or something? Hopefully that cinder vine sticks around for quite some time. Ah, you know what? I don't think they have a counter spell. I'd rather not take two damage if I don't have to. Man, this is gonna be painful for them. Ping, ping. Ooh, I love it. I don't know. I don't know. It's looking good. Let's go Torture Defiance so we can potentially get Inferno next turn. Yes, Skyship in a Dino deck. Yeah. Dino's on a boat. 100%. I think it might have. Uh, maybe Skyship could sort of be considered a plane a dinos on a plane get these dinos off this plane keeping it family friendly of course but uh, like the famous line from samuel L. jackson maybe it could make a parody something dinos on a plane some list vehicles that have hey wolf speak ask and you shall receive we get the flagship, but certainly ramping with Defiance here. Get Inferno. Boom. Get that emblem. Start pinging away. But yeah, Dino's on a plane. Scary stuff. I don't know. I think Dino's would be less scary than Snake's. They would have a hard time moving on the plane, so it's probably not that bad. And only certain dinos could fit on the plane. 
you can likely jam up an area and you don't have to worry about it getting through but snakes they can slither get through anything yes abs oh absolutely i guess the worst we would have to worry about is a velociraptor on a plane anything bigger than that it's just not going to move everybody just parachute off and then crash the thing and you don't have to worry about it <laughs> Is a little scary. They're being just pretty aggressive. A backup plan with Den of the Bugbear. That's not nice. That might do it for him, actually. Hmm. Can we do anything to stop him? Is the question. I don't think so. I mean, we can sweep uh, sweep the two things. I think we've got to do that. Actually, minus X, minus seven to take out this. Yeah, I don't like that. No siree. Two, four, three, yeah. Yeah, I like this. Shifting for four, rampaging for this, get some bodies down, hope for the best. Deter Den of the Bugbear and the tokens. They'll probably still want to pressure Inferno because she is so low, we'll see. But at the very least, I think we stop that den of the bugbear stuff. Actually, no, we still would die. Yes. Down of the bugbear makes a token. Three tokens would get through. We would block down to the bugbear. Oh, well, no, no. They they still have it with the stomp. Ouch. Yeah, tried our best. Lots of cheap spells. Uh, kind of did the trick, but not quite, unfortunately. I think we'll get them here. Yeah. Oh, I keep it. Yep. Got four eventually for Defiance. Shatter Skull maybe to take out something small. Yeah. Could be worse, that's for sure. And definitely like seeing two Infernos. We could really stack the emblems there. Without a care. It might not be fair. This hand, I think, will get us there. Nah, I don't feel I'll be using Shatter Skull. Take this opportunity to get it tapped and not take three damage. Definitely against a deck like this. Not something you want to do. Hopefully we get something at least for two or three next turn, but... I don't think we have to worry so much about counter spells. An interesting hand, to say the least. Well, I bet they have something that deals damage to her. We'll see. Hopefully that's not the case. Guess I could have taken out Bone Crusher. I would have taken out so two damage myself. Yeah. Oh, maybe she's not dead. 
Oh no, they ramp deal damage to her. Yeah. Shoot. Well, maybe get the six next turn for Inferno. That might buy us some time, get us there, but uh, it's not looking pretty grim, unfortunately. And they got that fantastic den of the bugbear, too. You know what? We can go this ramp, topiary. I like the looks of that. Oh, never mind. We can't. Well, that sucks. Yeah, that's going to do it. Nah, sometimes you goof, sometimes it doesn't really matter. Even if things go well. That's all right. MTG Tavern. Anybody else watching right now, later on? I had a good time. Hopefully you guys had a good time as well. Remember, there's always room for improvement. Always room for a good time. Have a good night, a good morning, good evening, afternoon, whenever it is you are watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Peace.